Hello friends of OnQ. If you want to know what a drag race car and a race car have to do with the amplification process and our high current amp, tune into our next episode of Inside OnQ. A drag race car and a racing car. What do they have to do with the amplification process? Now, let's take a closer look at those two cars. Our drag race car is a very, very powerful car in a very limited situation. You've only got a straight road and that's all this car can handle because you've got an enormous power but you've hardly got any possibilities to steer. Now, let's look at the other car. We've got a racing car that can drive on a road, on a highway, on a rural road, with a lot of control over the road. You've got curves you have to steer into. You probably have to have good brakes to maneuver all these changing situations. The drag race car in that situation would be lost because the sheer power is completely useless in this situation. Let's look at that in musical terms. In musical terms, the power of the drag race car equals loudness. But you can only exert that power in a very limited situation. With uh, a single note, for example, you could exert all that power and it would be useful. But as you know, music isn't a single note. Music is a complex being. You need a, lo a lot of dynamic changes, you need uh, quiet passages, you need uh, loud passages, and you need the changes in between. And for all that, you need the control over the speaker. To physically control a speaker driver, you need a current. Let me show you at the speaker. Now, we've taken the speaker out of a speaker system just to show you. This diaphragm has to be moved. And for control over this diaphragm, you need current. Now, this speaker has a, a certain resistance to it. You can have speakers with uh, 4 ohms, you can have speakers with 6 ohms or 8 ohms. And somewhere within a musical piece, this resistance can go down almost to zero. At that point, you need a high current to actually keep the control over the speaker. And for this, we at Onkyo have a special solution. Let me show you. At Onkyo, we rely on a high instantaneous current capability, HICC. That's the most important thing in an amplifier, to actually be able to react to dynamic situations. Let's look at this chart for a second. At any given time, you need to output a certain current, a certain amperage. So if you would think this is like a conventional amplifier with a certain output of amperage at a time, Onkyo has an output like this. So at any given time in the musical piece, let's say here, you've got a much higher current. So you have much more control over the dynamic situation the musical piece has, or your film has. And that concludes our journey through the amplifier. We've joined our signal at the beginning, went into the conversion phase with the VLSC, we went into the amplification phase with the non-phase shift amp, and went down to the output phase with the high current amp. We went all the way out the speaker. And all this, this whole system, we call the dynamic audio amplification, so that you can hear every detail and feel every emotion. If you've missed on any of these details to the VLSC or the non-phase shift amp, check out our previous episodes. So, see you back at Inside Onkyo.